I've been here before, so I can tell you it's going to be great. It's lovely. I've been mean, blessed with warm weather, which can make watering quite a challenge. Usually I come armed with knowledge. I personally want to just see it with fresh eyes. Literally looked at it for seven <laughs> seconds, but my seven <laughs> second response is that it's lovely. A few more colours maybe this year than last year. Lots of blues and purple. My favourite one back there and it had Vikings in it. The only name I could tell you is Cleve West, who stood there, who we've seen for a few years and, and is always good. Every time I come to Chelsea, I see every year it's getting more and more that kind of wild free look. You don't have to have a manicured garden anymore. You can just do what you feel like and your spirit should reflect your garden. It's beautiful, beautiful. Such inspiring gardens. Every year they manage to get better and better. You have to be a pretty harsh critic to come in and go, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I love the, the Lawn Perrier Garden, Luciano Jubilee. That's beautiful. I have to say, I've been assaulted by the M&G Garden. And by Jiminy Crack, have they done a good job there. What about your gardening skills? I'm, I'm an expert <laughs> at sitting down and watching somebody else do it. The first time this year, we have something different. There's more truth, there's more authenticity. There's less crazy designs. It's more about the inside, yet there's something which is British.